as 2016 starts slowly coming to an end, Nintendo fans around the world eagerly await for any news on the new Nintendo NX. Whether you're like me constantly refreshing Nintendo's Twitter feed for any kind of official announcement, or you've been spending all your free time on Reddit, hoping to catch leaks as soon as they come out, the excitement can be felt everywhere. And the cruel lack of any information about the NX has led fans to craft all sorts of theories about the console and what it could be like. Personally, it could be a shoebox of glitter sprinkled over I'd still buy it for 500 bucks. Hey, thanks, Reggie. You've done your service to mankind. You can ascend into heaven now. Have a safe trip. But with most discussion centered around the console itself, I thought today we would talk about what game sequels I would like to see in the new generation. Real fast, honorable mentions to games like Mario Maker, Smash, and Splatoon, although I feel those will get a port into the system as they are. So without further ado, my name's Pixel Tricks, and here are the top 5 game sequels I would like to see on the Nintendo NX. The first time I played Bayonetta, I thought two things. One, this game is awesome. And two, I am really bad at this game, like, really bad. I was not experiencing the technical hack and slash genre at all and died many times. Although, the quirky characters, amazing as hell OST, and feeling of satisfaction of actually not dying after repeated attempts to finish a chapter, drove me to get through it and after a while I started getting hang of the combat, and ever since then it's become one of my favorite games. Then Nintendo came along, saw Bayonetta and was like, hey, I need that. Then out came Bayonetta 2. In my opinion, Bayonetta 2 took everything awesome about the first game and turned it up to 11. Great music, fun combat, and plenty of nods to the previous title. This is how you do a sequel right. It also took out all those quick time events that destroyed me in Bayonetta 1. We need Bayonetta 3. Don't let the witch hunts be over, Nintendo. It has been far too long since we've had a full-fledged Animal Crossing title on console. And don't you dare bring up Amiibo Festival. No, I mean an actual tree-shaking, fish-taking, bee-getting-injured-by good time. If it wasn't the 5-star OST keeping you around, or the urge to finally pay off that upgrade you wanted so bad, just to get in much further debt for the next one, it was the overall experience. These games can be seen as therapeutic, and yeah, New Leaf was great, but this is a game series that deserves to be on the NX. So I can waste my life again, listening to KK Slider sing to me while I hunt for stag beetles. Please, Nintendo, take my bells. If you haven't played Yoshi's Woolly World, what is wrong with you? It is a great experience the whole way through, full with plenty of collectibles and secrets leading to loads of replayability. If you haven't been fortunate enough to pick up this grand title, you're in luck. Yoshi's Woolly World has recently been announced to be ported to the Nintendo 3DS, along with bonus content involving everyone's favorite canine ball of yarn. This, while still being awesome, is also terrible. Yes, being able to lose yourself in a world filled with enough cuteness in it to melt even the most evil of hearts on the go is something we can all agree is fantastic. But this leaves the question, what about Yoshi's Woolly World 2? The game did great and was praised all across the board, if not being downsized here and there for being a bit too easy. But come on, it's a Yoshi game where you throw your Yoshi friends at flowers made of yarn to collect gems to get stamps, it's made to be a good time. And I saved every Yoshi, got every collectible, and did everything in the game, and I need more Nintendo. Please, don't forget about Yoshi's Woolly World. I'll never understand why there was never any Pokemon Snap 2. There wasn't a single person who did not love this game. Besides that one edgy YouTube commenter, but hey, no one likes that guy, am I right, dudes? <laughs> no, but seriously, you're entitled to your opinion. This game was awesome. I love driving around and finding new secret paths and finding new Pokemon, just so Oak could downsize whatever I brought in, the insensitive prick. Regardless of its flaws, it was a fun game. Think of the possibilities now with all the new Pokemon. Hell, Sun and Moon is coming out soon, so that would be a great reason to make it. Have some kind of a link through the 3DS and take pictures of your caught Pokemon. And I don't care if every Pokemon is in it. Hell, it could not have one full generation and I would still be happy. It could just be the keys. It could just be the keys. Keys.
key picture taking simulator. Come on, Nintendo. Make it happen. Super Mario Sunshine is one of the best platformers I have ever played. I loved all the new ideas that were put into this game. The scenery was always gorgeous and still looks great today. This game in itself was a risky play by Nintendo, taking their Dream Boy Mario and adding something that drastically changed up the mechanics. But just as fast as it came, Mario's newfound friend vanished never to be seen again. Well, besides in the Smash Brothers games. I, for one, would love to see most the Super Mario Sunshine 2 on the Nintendo NX. Regardless of what Nintendo comes up with, I'm sure whatever they have been hiding from us will be great. And I for one am looking forward to it. That's my list. Did you not see your pick on here? Let me know what you would like to see on the Nintendo NX. Thanks for watching and have a good one dudes.